Hello, in a moment I will present you a short video that I just recorded and in which I managed to capture a touching scene. I will also explain what is presented in the photo you are looking at at the moment. But first, a few words of introduction. Many people try to flatter themselves, claiming their uniqueness and special preference of the Homo sapiens species by God himself. They argue that animals are driven only by instincts, thus comparing them to programmed unconscious and deprived of free will robots, while man is allegedly guided by higher values, such as love, justice, compassion. When a man manages to capture the moments in which animals show heroism, for example, in case of a red mom who, while saving her children from a burning building, ultimately dies in flames, or in the case of numerous documented cases in which the animal mother, who didn't leave the disabled child, herself died hunger because her priority was to feed her babies. There are also many cases of great empathy and care for representatives of other species, such as the famous example of a lioness defending a wounded fox. However, people necessarily desire to attribute these behaviors to some instincts. They try to explain them with a natural maternal instinct. And at this point, I want to introduce you to the behavior of my guinea pigs, as you probably already know that our herd consists only of males. Right now you are watching Nashi, by the way the most aggressive pig in our herd. He is keeping vigil and showing affection to the oldest and ailing piggy named Rufi. You watch him licking his ear. In the language of pigs, licking an ear means I love you, I love you. It is a constant behavior of pigs, always meaning a declaration of love. Interestingly, Nashi approached Rufi just as I handed them leaves of romaine lettuce, which is one of the delicacies of pigs. While the neighboring pigs rushed on their leaves, Nashi left his and first came to Rufi to check if he was eating and to show him some affection. Only after some time did he start eating. So it is not true that satisfying primitive instincts is a priority for non-human animals. Nashi's first concern was his friend's condition. Moreover, all the pigs, when I led them near Rufi, immediately after assessing his condition, lie down next to him and show him affection. Now you see another piggy trying to cuddle with him when Rufi is taken out of his cage for feeding. And a few more words about Rufi. Not so long time ago, he was assisting another sick pig for long months until he died. Himself, he was a very strong, big, almost one and a half kilos, dominant and healthy male. He is not young anymore because he is already five years old. However, his health began to decline only when his friend passed away from this world. Guinea pigs are famous for the fact that when one dies, the other immediately falls ill and is headed to death. This is confirmed by many pig carriers and vets. So far, a healthy pig suddenly stops eating and develops even the strangest symptoms and diseases, including cancer. After his friend had died, Luffy lost half of his weight. And I believe that he survived only because, apart from the friend he lost, he also loves the other pigs in the herd. All the time since his partner had died, we've been observing as if Rufi was with one foot in this and one in the other world. Fortunately, thanks to the love of the whole herd, ours, and constant medical checks, Rufi has managed to stay alive for quite a long time and I think he has experienced many beautiful moments since his loss. But getting back to Rufi's attitude towards his friend and our beloved angel Benio, for so many months he did not leave him, he showed him so much love. 
How often do you find similar attitudes in people? Attitudes in which love and care are the absolute priority. Are really only representatives of Homo sapiens guided by higher values? Thank you very much for your attention and see you soon. Bye.